Alrighty, alrighty. Um, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, Miguel, my co-host and our intrepid community marketer is joining us up on the stage. He's connecting. It almost wouldn't be uh, an X space as if there wasn't one microphone that didn't uh, quite connect. It's practically, tradi <laughs> practically tradition at this point. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, I think we can uh, go ahead and get started for those of you who joined. Um, you know, in the honor of uh, of everyone who came, thank you so much for joining us. This is one of the most exciting uh, spaces that we've had so far. So, um, Helena, thank you so much for being here. And Dean, thank you so much for being here as well. Um, I'm Antman on the uh, on the marketing side at the at Agoric Systems. Uh, Miguel, it looks like you're up on the speaker. How's your mic sounding? Yes, sir. I'm here, GMGN, to everybody in the audience. Again, we appreciate you guys joining us today. It is the fast USDC space that you guys have all been waiting for. And I'm actually going to give the audience two minutes. You know, tag those two friends under the post, retweet and like it. And then five random listeners are going to get 20 IST each. And thank you to our friends at the DCF for hooking us up with that. So we're excited to pass that along to everybody here. And then, yes, I am the community marketing lead here at Agoric. I am brand new, so if you're hearing my voice for the first time, welcome. I appreciate the warm welcome from community. I've been speaking to some of you on Discord. So excited to continue this conversation today and continue this conversation again with Dean and Elena. So. All right. So we've got a lot that we're going to be discussing today. And because this is the fast USDC space instead of half an hour, we're going to reduce time down to less than three minutes in keeping with our product tradition. Uh, kidding. But that would be awesome, wouldn't it? If we got all this covered in just three minutes, the fastest space ever. Um, we're going to talk a bit about why fast USDC is such a game changer in the in the product space. It's going to be awesome. And Dean and, uh, and Helena are going to talk about what makes it so unique and so awesome. Um, a little bit about the technical challenges that are going to be faced by our teams as they're working together to build this product and why it's never been seen before. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, and of course, I would everyone wants to know what is in store for fast usdc what does the rollout look like and what does it mean for the future of uh you know of the products um noble express and agoric orchestration very very exciting that being said uh, we'd love to kick off with just a few definitions just to make sure that everyone's on the same page. Um, I'm just going to quickly define what chain abstraction is. This is a term that comes up a lot in these conversations. And then heads up, Dean, I'm going to kick it over to you to define your favorite word, orchestration. Um, but generally, when we talk about chain abstraction, and there's a lot of different flavors to this, but essentially what we mean is a user experience exempt from the manual processes required to interact with multiple chains. So if you're sending an asset across multiple chains, that means you don't need to go clicky, clicky, clicky through changing your network every time that asset hits another chain, just as a general uh, general definition. And uh, Dean, do you want to give us an idea for the audience and people who might not be familiar? What is orchestration when we refer to it, in uh, especially with regards to Agoric? Uh, well, I'll, I'll back up a little bit. The way I think of chain abstraction is simpler. It's, you know, users want to use assets and services independent of the underlying chain. Right. And that, you know, so so the, you know, the 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 general perspective about chain abstraction and why it's exciting is it it's the crypto industry realizing that they need to be user focused. What orchestration does orchestration is enables uh, users to just approve the end to end use case they care about. Right. It means we've got smart contracts that can handle the transition of something, you know, across a bridge over to purchase to buy a ticket if what the user wanted was they had dollars and they had money in one place, USDC in one place, and they wanted a ticket from some other chain. And so that whole process of go through, convert currency, move it across a bridge, move it over to uh, another chain and buy something or buy something and stake it or do what have you, that automation um, with orchestration, you can do single approval of the end-to-end -end use case that the user wanted rather than the details of the underlying infrastructure and individual low-level transactions. And so that lets us really, you know, 
address the broad desire of chain abstraction, which is users can do what they want. Users can get done what they want to get done with a single approval that they understand instead of something that maps to the low levels of the network. So you're okay. saying when she went over the river and through the woods, little red riding hood was most likely using orchestration. Got that's it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. She just <laughs> wanted to deliver something to grandma. Okay. Can I just find a transaction that does that? <laughs> I, and that's really what we all want, right? I mean, that's what we're, you know, that's what users want. And that is a perfect segue into our first question. Why is there a need for fast USDC in the current market? Um, you know, it's uh, it's definitely something that a lot of people have gotten excited about, and we'd love to hear uh, both of your perspectives um, on what makes it so exciting. Um, so, uh, Helena, at first, from your perspective at Noble, uh, how will fast USDC help users? Like, what is this sort of coming about from your perspective, and why are you excited about it? Yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me, uh, everyone, and. <laughs> Happy to be here. Um, for those that don't know me, I'm Yelena. I'm the co-founder and CEO of the Noble Project. Um, I guess at a very high level, um, you know, fast transaction and fast finality is some, something that is still, um, you know, not like here in, in, in ways that I think we, we needed for mass adoption. So fun fact, Noble is the second fastest chain with native USDC after Solana. We have about 1.5 second block times right now. Um, we've gotten it down to about 1.2 seconds and we're actually pretty confident we can get it sub one second. Um, so if you actually look at the entire list of kind of the 15 protocols that support native USDC, um, Noble is actually the uh, second fastest chain with native USDC. Suffice to say, although we ourselves have uh, obviously instant finality and very uh, kind of fast block times relative to the rest of the ecosystem, we still uh, rely on uh, Ethereum finality to uh, conduct uh, kind of cross-chain transactions, specifically using the cross-chain transfer protocol. And this is the uh, kind of native bridge that Circle built um, and that we uh, implemented on the Noble chain. We were actually the first non-EVM chain to do so. So working with Agoric and using the orchestration technology that Agoric has built is super exciting for us because we can actually get um, that uh, finality down from, you know, 15 minutes or so to uh, under a minute. Um, so very, very exciting. So, you know, you can imagine a transaction, right, that goes from ETH to any IBC enabled chain. Um, actually taking kind of less than a minute to 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 settle. Uh, and this is obviously a lot faster than the 15 minutes that we're currently, um, you know, uh, relying on with the kind of uh, existing um, system. So yeah, that's like a high level overview of Noble and kind of where we are today. But yeah, really excited to chat more about fast UCC, how orchestration works. I mean, yeah, you guys are, are the experts in that domain. And um, yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, it's our it's our pleasure. Um, yeah, uh, Noble's been doing a lot of great work in sort of you know, bridging a lot of a lot of different gaps of just from an asset perspective. Um, you know how people use a lot of different applications and the assets underlying underneath. Um, so yeah, it's great to have your perspective. And I mean, I can't think of anyone else. You know, awesome, awesome uh, partnership here. Um, but then now I'd love to dive into that further about how it works. Uh, Dean, can you talk a little bit more about, um, you know, we're going to talk in the next section a little bit more about the specific technical challenges. Um, but from a, a user experience perspective, um, you know, what does fast USDC sort of help us achieve and what kind of experiences does it lead to from a, a UX perspective? So, uh, you know, and and this will roll out initially in 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 uh, you know plan is in Noble Express. The the key thing, in some sense, the difference between fifteen minutes, you know, or I, I say twenty minutes and two minutes, and you know, we'll leave ourselves some 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 uh, buffer for the vagarities of of network traffic until we actually deploy and actually measure and all that sort of thing, right? But the difference is. Is it while you wait or is it something you have to plan, right? If you're a, you know, if, if you've got a, uh, uh, an NFT you want to buy or a ticket you want to buy or a liquidation to participate in or, you know, you're setting up DYDX account or you want to trade on others, whatever it is, all these things that people could and would do and do um, do in the extended Cosmos ecosystem or the extended interchain ecosystem, you know, if it starts with, okay, take my money and get it over here. Um, and now let me plan to come back and do this thing that 20 minutes later I've had three interruptions and I have no recollection about what I was doing or the opportunity passed or whatever. 
that's a very different experience than something where, yeah, maybe I get Jeopardy hold music, you know, but it can happen while I wait, right? There's a liquidation. Oh, I see it's happening. It's in the next five minutes. I get my money over there. I can participate in it. I can get some, you know, um, uh, uh, pick up some, some assets that I've been looking to accumulate, or there's a new um, uh, ticket meant for an event and I want to get in on it. Um, and so bring my money over, go, you know, get over. I see Sisla here, uh, you know, get over and buy a, buy a ticket on Omniflix with it. Um, I can do that while I wait. I can do that end to end thing. You know, that's sort of the beginning. That's the, the motivation for fast US. It was really a bummer that it cut out right when the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto was revealed. That was <laughs> what timing. <laughs> uh, Dean, you were on a roll talking about the uh, seamless uh, seamless experiences um, right when we right when we cut out and um, talking about how fast USDC, which will initially roll out in uh, Noble Express. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, sorry, where did we cut out? What was the last thing I said? <laughs> um, I think. Well, uh, to 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 summarize and kind of kick it, get us uh, started back off in the right direction. Um, you were just talking about how um, it, I don't even remember what the very last thing was, um, but we were talking about how it's going to be more. Oh, 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 I wrote it down because it was a really, really good quote. So thank you for that, Dean. It was, um, is it while you wait or is it something that you have oh, yeah. to plan for? Right, right, right. Yeah. So and I mentioned, let's see, is Sisla back? I mentioned Sisla here. Um, you know the the uh, Omniflix, right? If you, if I want a ticket, you know the new ticket is up or the liquidation up or what have you, can I get my money there to go participate um, uh, quickly? Um, and uh, you know, can I do it while I wait? Um, maybe with Jeopardy music playing, but it's while I wait, or is it something that um, uh, that you know that I have to plan for and go for a long time? And so that's really that's really critical. Um, and it makes a huge difference in terms of adoption, ease of integration, that sort of thing, where if we reduce, you know, in general for the Cosmos ecosystem, if we reduce the ease and time for the rest of the crypto ecosystems to get a, to, to get access to a service or an asset in the extended interchain network, um, which, you know, getting their USDC there in order to buy it is a significant part of that then that makes it just closer. It makes it more accessible, it makes it more part of a uniform experience, and it makes it easier for those users to, to, to uh, you know, leverage the assets and services that we've all been building. I mean, when you put it that way, it makes me wonder why we haven't been doing this all along, which brings us right up to point number two. Uh, Miguel, do you want to lead us through a deep dive into some of the technical challenges behind fast USDC? Yeah, hundred percent. And I think it's as a technical kind of background and orchestration, uh, we really want to know what, how that plays a role in the fast USCC um, product, and overall, you know, what does it look like behind the scenes? Sure. Let's you know the the so one of the coolest things about this, Yellen and I were talking about this earlier, right? is it starts with a CCTP transaction, right? You know, it starts with how you would have already been moving your your USDC over into, um, you know, Noble or some destination afterwards, right? Um, but the thing that the thing that we get with orchestration is smart contract running on Agoric that sets up that destination so that you just send to a noble address, it arrives there, and the smart contract on Agoric notices that it arrives, right? And there's multiple mechanisms for doing that. And you know, the details of engineering are what the next um uh, uh couple months are about. But you know, that, that it can do it with ICQ, right? We've got interchain ICQ implemented. It can do it with notifications to go do these those queries. We've got all of those as mechanisms that will be gradually being added to the orchestration uh, API. Um, but it uses those mechanisms to the smart contract, sees that the money has arrived, JavaScript wakes up, you know, leaps to the task um, to go, okay, um, the, you know, the, 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 the money has arrived, let's go do something about that, right? That's sort of the base case, right, uh, um, the, 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 that we can handle. Um, so uh, let, let me back up for a moment. 
orchestration APIs, instead of APIs to be able to program in JavaScript a smart contract that can use all of these different bridges and um, uh, uh, IBC functionality to reach other chains and interact with things. And so, for example, it can sit there and watch and see when money has arrived at Noble in an account that it controls, that it created with interchain accounts. So it creates an account with interchain accounts. Now the smart contract is in charge of that account on Noble. The money lands there, the smart contract can go, oh, it's here, let me go buy a ticket or let me go deliver it to your end user, your end user location. Okay. So that's sort of the basic functionality that's in uh, EmoryNet now, um, the validators, you know, it's in the, the validator rollout process where it could be, you know, could, could go into voting uh, this week, um, I think is, 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 is when, it, when it shows up for voting by the, the community to, to, to deploy that core functionality. And the core functionality includes staking and transfer and, and remote uh, uh, account creation on any um, IBC reachable chain. Um, and you know a few other functions like that, and that will then be extended over time with additional functionality. So, for example, it already has the ability to do um, interchain queries to request, you know, what's the balance of this account it controls on a remote chain. And so, from that, you can then build in JavaScript the ability to, for example, easily pull for something arriving when you're expecting it to show up in the next minute. When it arrives, you immediately, you know, leap to sending it on to the destination user or sending or, or doing something else with it. Okay, so that's sort of the basics that, 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 that orchestration enables. And over the course of this project, we'll be adding core functionality to support more and more, you know, utility on top of Noble um, uh, that then culminates in, in this fast USDC. Okay, so, Fast USDC, the actual transaction, starts from CCTP transact send um, on uh, Ethereum that will be detected by you know fairly standard mechanism to notice new transactions appearing on Ethereum, in particular transactions that are that are that are part of the you know uh, set up with Noble Express and set up to be able to send money on this fast path, send USDC on this fast path. That will be communicated to the smart contract that will then be able to uh, advance the funds to the end user without waiting for the 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 fifteen minute delivery time into you know through the normal CCTV transaction. It advances the funds to the end user. Um, and then when the money when when the USDC actually arrives, then those funds get paid back. Um, into the smart contract to the participating market makers and, and LP provisioning, right? And so what that means is the end user issues a normal transaction, the, 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 the uh, uh, payment arrives at the targeted destination and, um, uh, you know, and everything in the middle gets sorted out where the, when the money arrives 20 minutes later, it's delivered to the, to the parties that advanced the funds. Is that a, uh, Yellen, is that a fair uh, uh, high level summary of, of, of what happens here? It's definitely a, a fair high level summary. Um, <laughs> I think at the end of the day, um, like what Dean is describing is like this very simple UX workflow where your funds can reach a destination in, uh, you know, like obviously with speed, but obviously in a way that you can like programmably sort of uh, insert intents into, into the process. So like right now, the way that fast UCC is being developed is very much um, within the Noble Express UI. So again, pretty simple. It'll give you an option to either use fast the fast USDC route or the regular CCTP route. There will be a small fee for speed, right? Like uh, obviously uh, with speed comes, comes certain efficiencies for certain stakeholders. And so they would be willing to pay for something like this, right? Instead of waiting 15 to 20 minutes for settlement, you're, you know, waiting one minute um, to have your USDC reach the destination. Um, and so in the beginning, that's sort of the workflow that we're uh, expecting to take hold. But as Dean mentioned, there are kind of more interesting use cases that can be built on top of um, this orchestration technology with fast USDC, such that you could do more interesting things um, with that. I, I'd actually love Dean to hear, like, yeah, from you and, and kind of the team, like, what other kind of cool use cases you, you foresee. Sure. Um, yeah. I mean, um, in some sense, you know, uh, when as I described orchestration, it's like the user wants 
a larger use case that crosses bridges and chains and that sort of thing. And we want to be able to deliver that simply. I, I, I mentioned, you know, Sisla is here. The user wants to buy a ticket, right? And what they want is a ticket on Omniflex. I want to push button and get a ticket on Omniflex. That involves take my money, you know, set up a transaction where I'm going to, where my money from ETH in USDC transfers over via this Noble Express fast USDC process. Um, is picked up by smart by the smart contract, the orchestration contract that can then go over to, for example, Osmosis, swap it for Flix, take it over to Omniflix, and buy the thing I wanted to buy. Right in that scenario, you know, we've got all these apps that are improving and smoothing out um, the funds transfer process. Right, Noble Express has got a nice UI for pick my USDC from anywhere and get it and get it delivered into a location inside of Cosmos. That's great. It's a big step forward. It's an improvement. And, you know, when I started talking about um, uh, 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 just, you know, just when I was in Token 2049 last week, was that last week? Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, is that's all really good. It's really powerful to be able to do that. And that's critical to be able to do it while you wait. But that's not something I had to do when I bought an airplane ticket, right? I didn't have to move funds from my bank to the airline's bank in order to pay them, I just pushed a button and bought the ticket. And so that that slow integration, you know, that that, that enhancement to these end-to-end -end use cases where the transfer is a critical part of it. It, it enables the while you wait experience across ecosystems. Um, but but the you know the next critical part of it is then picking it up and going and doing the thing that the end user wanted at the end of the day. Um, and so I talk about purchase because that's a simple step addition, right? It's that one little bit of addition that takes it from being a transfer to being an end user, you know, to being that, that you know, non-crypto end user facing use case. But, you know, orchestration quickly grows from there. You know, my, my canonical example has been, and now that, now that Celestia has turned on ICA and, you know, IBC and Interchain accounts and has sort of gotten more, you know, what is it, joined the IBC gang, now I'm glad I have this example of I've got USDC burning a hole in my pocket on ETH and I want staked Celestia token, right? So that means get me a USDC over, go buy Celestia token, you know, on osmosis or something, move it over to Celestia and stake it, and then every day wake up and redeem rewards and restake those, for example. And if that's what the user want, you'd like to be able to approve it with a single thing that then engages an orchestration that includes... Again, these core services that that unless I can get this whole process started by moving my money in, I don't get to do um, those end-to-end -end user use cases. So it's sort of this critical bridge that makes it all happen. And so that's why we're starting there, is, is people know they need it now, they do it manually now, um, they need it faster, and that enables all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that. Thank you, Dean. That's that's awesome. And I mean, I know personally, I'm I'm excited about it too. I love things going fast and easy. You know, who doesn't? <laughs> um, but you know, um, just um, uh, Yelena, as like the uh, sort of expert on Noble Express, and from from your perspective, um, you know, what is like. Oh, so I guess one, what does rollout of fast USDC look like just sort of, for, you know, at a high level from, from your perspective? Um, but I'm also curious to know a little bit more about like how you imagine people will use like fast USDC through Noble Express as part of like onboarding to platforms like DYDX or other, you know, other different chains. Onboarding experience for... Um... You were muted. You want to start over? It took. It was slow. Oh, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Can you hear me now? All good. Oh, okay. Um, sorry. I was just saying. Uh, we think a lot about the onboarding experience into Cosmos. Uh, and to be honest, also out like leaving Cosmos, right? So, there's like a couple of user journeys we think about. One, you are kind of elsewhere uh, in the crypto ecosystem. Maybe you're on ETH, Solana, and L2, and you want to reach a IBC enabled chain. Second, uh, you're already on an IBC enabled chain and you want to easily um, leave the ecosystem. Like this, the, like this ability to exit a system is also really important. I think a lot of projects are too interested in creating these moats of liquidity and not really uh, interested in optimizing for UX. And obviously the ability to exit a system is also very important. Uh, and then the three is um, actually um, 
entering kind of the on-chain economy from the off-chain economy or, you know, from, uh, from, from your, with your fiat or through a centralized exchange or some sort of on-ramp. And so for us, we definitely see this like first kind of user journey. So entering the Cosmos ecosystem, being able to directly land on any IBC enabled chain as like a really important journey that we've optimized for in a number of ways already. So we've built um, something called a forwarding module uh, on the Noble chain. And so Noble, for those that are not familiar, is a Cosmos SDK uh, chain. So we do take advantage a lot of the Cosmos SDK to build these very powerful modules. And so one such module is this forwarding module, which pretty much allows anybody to register uh, something called a forwarding account on the Noble chain to um, pass through funds, um, you know, from, let's say, Ethereum, to an IBC chain sort of in one click. And so right now, this kind of workflow is a combination of CCTP, the forwarding module, and IBC. And very soon, you can imagine that this will include um, Agoric's orchestration technology as well, right? So kind of within that process, you know, you'll of course still have the CCTP workflow from Ethereum um, to Noble, and then you'll have um, the orchestration kind of um, contracts, um, actually being able to um, create this fast USDC kind of workflow that, of course, the user opts into through a front end, such as Noble Express. And then, of course, um, you still retain that one-click kind of experience from, let's say, Ethereum to, um, let's say, an IBC-enabled chain like DYDX. So, yeah, I mean, I think this takes coordination across various key stakeholders. This is something that Noble's um, always been pretty good at doing. Um, of course, it, you know, takes uh, coordination with the Agoric team to make sure that the orchestration kind of technology uh, works under the hood. Um, it takes coordination with the front ends. Of course, Noble Express will be the first kind of app that is committed to using uh, kind of fast USDC, but you can imagine that um, other front ends will also want to enable fast USDC wallets, front like you know trading front ends like the, the DYDX um, platform where you know you can already in one click deposit your USDC from uh, an origin uh, like like Ethereum where V3 lives, and so um, yeah, I think it, it it'll be pretty powerful. Um, in, in terms of like supporting that user journey that we, we already think about, right? Like this isn't like a new thing that, you know, is coming out of nowhere. Like we, we already think about the, the UX going cross chain, going cross chain with these stables natively. And of course with fast USCC, it just um, obviously like enhances that UX uh, in, in a number of very significant ways. Yeah. Being able to do that stuff while you wait, <laughs> you know, all the, all the things that, 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 already wire in USDC, just being able to have it be while you wait, you know, makes, makes customer attention, customer acquisition, those kinds of things just better. <laughs> you know, we, we're, we're no longer 20 minutes away from downtown. We're, 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 we're a minute away from downtown. <clears throat> yep. Now the other thing, uh, so I'm curious uh, for you, cause there are other services out there. There are other functions out there that um you know in 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 other ecosystems that will do you know th this you know this notion of a solver right you know i've got token a on chain b you know chain x i want token b on chain y um but the cool thing about um what we're able to do here uh by having you know the the orchestration uh plus uh noble express and cctp is there's not an off chain arbitrary you know clearing and settlement process, et cetera. It's, you know, triggered by CCDP. It's satisfied by TC CCDP. It clears and settles as a result of smart contract actions. Um, and so that means that the, 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 the timing is robust. The, the execution is robust. The interval of exposure or, or, or risk that, you know, uh, Ethereum or, or, or Polygon or whatever reorgs um, is, uh, you know, is is bounded and easy to be explicit about and manage. And so, um, you know, I, I'd, ex I'd expect to see more of that in the future, but it's one of those things where, where here, you know, we're both able to, from orchestration, you know, support end-to-end -end use cases of the user ones, but we're also able to, and this is sort of the, the way in which um, uh, FastUSDC is an example of using orchestration to solve a, a sort of key... Uh, problem for a use case is it's doing the async 
uh, coordination across chains to satisfy that process to go, OK, I see this, you know, I, I, I see this transaction issued, you know, do the advance, wait for the, the you know, check that the advance happened, wait for the, the money to transition over. It's probably 12 minutes, might be 15, might be 20. Once it happens, then we can, you know, satisfy and make sure everyone gets fulfilled and gets fees and all, all those kinds of things. And it's all done as a smart contract with no people involved. Um, and, you know, then the, the, the you know, um, uh, 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 Noble can deploy it, the chain can deploy it, others can deploy it and integrate it into two other services. And so it's really nice to have that as sort of smart contract execution rather than something that is, um, uh, uh, you know, more off chain and opaque. Yeah, and I think all all fantastic points, Dean. Um, and as we kind of part here, part ways with everyone in the audience, um, any last words, any key takeaways that you want to share specifically with the audience? Uh, I'll start with you, Yelena. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's actually hard to predict exactly the kind of user behavior that will emerge with these um, kind of UX optimizations. But um, as Dean kind of highlighted earlier, um, the uh, opportunities are, are really endless, right? Like uh, creating these like useful UX workflows for the end user, you know, where they can just go from point A to, you know, point B in the uh, fastest, most cost, cost efficient way. I mean, it sounds simple, but many years into, into this crypto journey and the <laughs> UX is still very painful. Um, I think it was uh, Nick White from Celestia. He was even talking about a payments application uh, over the weekend that he was using. I, I won't uh, kind of call out which one it is, but um, I, I did verify it with him. And, you know, he is a power user, right? We're all power users on this panel. And even he it took him 15 minutes to like load up his app with like some USDC. Like that should just not happen, right? Um, and so, yeah, I mean, from a retention perspective, uh, from a just like like builder perspective, I think it's like a lot more inspiring and delightful to be able to build apps like on top of these systems that like already work pretty well under the hood. Like as Dean said, like we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're using the existing CCTP implementation that Noble shipped, um, you know, less than a year ago. Um, and so we're just optimizing on top of that, right? And with with something like fast USDC and, and the orchestration technology that Agoric is building. So I guess like the final thought is, you know, the opportunities, I think, um, for like what can be built on top of, um, you know, these th these technologies, I don't know, really want to call them primitives, like these technologies, I think um, are abundant. And I'm super excited to see, um, yeah, what, what gets built and obviously excited to see fast USC, USDC integrated into Noble's front end, uh, being the Noble Express app. It is still, by the way, in beta um, is this still a beta release? We, for example, don't have C uh, ledger signing for CCTP transactions yet, but we will have that pretty soon. So yeah, just, uh, you know, happy to be building alongside you guys and thanks for having me. Uh, I'm, I'm so honored that, that, uh, that, uh, we get to work together on this stuff. Uh, engineering collaboration is one of my favorite things in the space. Um, and so, yeah, I'm very excited. And, you know, the, the, one of the things you, you, you hit on Yelena, right. You know, that, that we both, it gives us the opportunity to really focus on end user use cases and, you know, focus on how do we satisfy these end user use cases and enable other people to satisfy richer and richer end user use cases. That's how we're all going to, you know, grow the ecosystems, uh, grow the use of crypto out in the mainstream um, and, you know, and, and, and this seems like it's starting in the right place. So I'm really excited. Um, I think that, that as I say, you know, we've got, we've got a lot of work to do to, to bring this together. We've got clear utility early on and then clear way that it grows. Right. And, you know, even if at some point, I mean, at some point, if circle comes out and does this themselves built into CCTP, so suddenly it's running really fast, we will already have done the wiring already be positioned to extend, you know, to just leverage that uh, out into these end to end use cases that include fast transfer, right? This is all about, how do we deliver great experiences to users? And we all need to start with fast transfer. This is putting it into our control to be able to deploy that. Um, if other people produce that in a way that, that that we can all leverage, that's a win for the ecosystem. And and you know, 
noble and orchestration will be positioned to to you know build on that to deliver richer and richer end user uh, end user use cases. So very excited about that stuff. Thank you, Yelena, for joining us. Thank you for 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 uh, um, uh, working together with us on this. I'm excited. Fifteen minutes for some USDC loaded up. I don't know. It's not going to be us with fast USDC. So, and man, I think that was one hell of a conversation. We got a lot of some good juicy details from from our guests today. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you both so much for diving in, exploring what we can do with fast USDC, and you know, unpacking how it works and what it's going to do for all of us. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for having thanks for having me. Okay, have a lovely day. Bye. All right. You as well. Appreciate it, y'all. Thanks all. And for members of the audience, if you're listening to us after the fact, thank you. Retweet, like, share this with all your other friends. Um, that contest DCF again appreciate it for the IST. So if you retweet it and like this, um, we will reach out to the winners. I'll reach out personally through the Agoric account, so be on the lookout for that. And then, again, subscribe to the newsletter if you can on agoric.com. You'll find the link there. And then just stay tuned. We got more updates. Uh, we're not and, done. Fast USDC coming soon. And I do see some questions in the chat. Um, uh, so since uh, we, we already started the wrap-up and, and Yellen has left, we'll, we'll reply to them in on Twitter. Those look good. 100%. Those look good. So you leave, leave, if you left some questions, we'll make sure to get back to you as soon as we can. So again, but we do encourage you keep keep sharing your thoughts through tweets or DMs. Shoot us anything if you feel inspired as well. Our DMs are open, so make sure you reach out to us as well. Or of course, you can always join our Discord too. We're always there, open to have that conversation there as well. All right, y'all, appreciate it. Fantastic. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks all.